from Sweet Life Sandberg. We upload videos on this channel every Monday and every Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Today what I'm going to talk about is a roundup of all the breweries we visited in September. So you'll be watching this on October 1st and I figured that was a perfect time to kind of do a roundup. And there's another reason that I decided to do this for you as well. I haven't filmed kind of an intro or my about me video yet and that will be coming but one of the reasons I really wanted to start this channel was because we have a lot of loved ones friends and family talk about how much we travel and how lucky we are and yes we are extremely lucky but we started traveling when we didn't have a lot of resources both with time and money and when we didn't have a lot of cool things around us to do due to where we were living. And I started this channel because I wanted to share how you can get creative in exploring your own space and in exploring what you do have with what you do have. So I'm gonna talk about that more in an introduction video later on, but breweries are actually such a good example of taking advantage of your space. What I mean by that is that I know we are very lucky to live in Florida. I know that there's a lot to do here in Florida that maybe other states wouldn't have. So it doesn't take much for us to find something to do. We are both from Iowa and so I know what it's like to live in a state where there's maybe not quite as much to do. However, I view travel as more of a mindset than a location. So I have the mindset of a traveler, which means that I will explore wherever I am and it doesn't matter if it's Iowa or Florida or somewhere out of the country. And I wanna teach you how to do the same. I have found that breweries are a really easy way to do that. So one of the reasons I love breweries is because they always feel like a community to me. I always, for the most part, feel welcomed in breweries. I love trying the beers that they make, of course, but I really also love the work and the ethic and the stories behind them. And you don't have to live somewhere really, really cool to be close to a brewery. There are more breweries popping up everywhere. So there might not be one in your town, but hopefully there's one maybe close to you. And also I do apologize if you don't drink or if you don't like craft beer, you may want to skip this video. So with that being said, I will say that we visited a ton of breweries this month. I would say more than average, but we've also been visiting more breweries than average ever since March. That's because a lot of breweries have really struggled through all of the weirdness that's going on right now. And that's not to imply that any of these breweries needed our support, but we uh, feel extra good about sending our money to small businesses and all of these breweries are small businesses. Also, we traveled a little bit more this month. So there's a few different reasons that this month had so many breweries. This, this isn't typical, I would say, but it is super fun. So the very first brewery we visited was Isla Morada Beer Company in Isla Morada, Florida. I apologize for these videos being the wrong way. I was brand new to YouTube when I took these videos. I definitely need to get back down there and take some good video to update. So Isla Morada is located in the Keys and this is such a bright and fun brewery. When I talk about community, this brewery really nails it. They definitely are a community. Locals love them, visitors love them. Look at this backyard, it's incredible. It's the best place to grab a beer, and um, I recommend their Coconut Lime Ale. The second brewery we visited was just down the street from Isla Morada Beer Company, and it is the Florida Keys Brewing Company. Florida Keys Brewing Company is a brewery that we are pretty familiar with. We've been there three or four times, I think. It is, like I said, just down the road from Isla Morada Beer Company, and the two really go hand in hand. If you are going to go to the Keys, you cannot stop at just one of them. You definitely have to go to both of them. Their employees here are incredible, and I think that that's really saying a lot because I think that they definitely get 
tons of tourists who probably ask the same questions over and over again, but they are super patient, super friendly, super knowledgeable, lots of supers. They have an incredible backyard area. Look at how bright and fun it is. I could sit out there all day long. Um, unfortunately, we never have more than a few hours, <laughs> but we absolutely love this brewery. Brewery number three is more local to our area. We live in the Tampa Bay area. It is the Gulfport Brewery and Eatery. It's a newer brewery. Gulfport Brewery and Eatery is in Gulfport, Florida. Like I said, it's a little bit newer of a brewery, but it's awesome. We did get food when we were there. It was really, really good. We love this space. Gulfport has a saying, keep Gulfport weird. And I think that this brewery fits right in with Gulfport. It's so pretty to sit outside. I love their decorations. Their employees were super nice. It was an incredible trip. Brewery number four is the Dunedin House of Beer. You will often see it as Dunedin Hob, H-O-B. And that's probably the brewery that we frequent the most often. I really like their peanut butter blonde. It is my favorite beer, but I do get a little bit um, stressed out every time we go there because literally they have so many beers that I love and it's hard for me to choose which one I want because I always want to get the peanut butter blonde, but they also have a, I can't remember what it is, but there's a cucumber. I think it might be a cucumber IPA. I'm not sure but I always love that one. And then I tried a coconut one that's amazing. So I love this brewery, but I always have such a hard time deciding what beer I want because they have so many good ones. They also have the best courtyard. I don't have tons of footage from here because we met up with some friends there after the Gulfport Brewery but they have the most incredible outdoor space, like I mentioned. These next few breweries came from our trip to the Ormond Beach area. We went from Tampa Bay to Ormond Beach, so we stopped in a little bit around halfway in Winter Garden, and that brings us to the next brewery. It's Crooked Can Brewing. So we found this brewery just by a quick Google search, and like I said earlier, we feel really lucky to have stumbled upon this brewery. I shared it in much more detail last week. It has the best atmosphere that we've been to in quite some time. You watched my last video, you know that this whole space is not just for Crooked Can. Crooked Can is inside the Plant Street Market that you see here. It's just the most incredible place to visit. Brewery number six was Blue Springs, and that brewery was located in Orange City, Florida. Yes, Orange City. And this was a great place to grab a bite to eat. It definitely has a restaurant feel. I actually had a pina colada um, seltzer here, so changed it up. I'm typically a beer person, but I'm also such a sucker for pina coladas, and it was really, really good. So that was our sixth brewery. Here's the outside of Blue Springs Brewing. We really liked it because they had games that you could play inside, so we played some Nintendo. Number seven technically doesn't count, but I wanted to show it here. This is, I think, pronounced Tomoka, so please forgive me if it's wrong. We didn't stay at this brewery because it was inside seating only, and it was packed. So that's a great sign that we need to go back. It's a great sign that it's a great brewery, but we just weren't comfortable eating inside when we were there. Not tons to see here since we didn't stay, but I thought I would show you. Okay, brewery number eight was Moonrise Brewing Company. Moonrise Brewing Company had the coolest atmosphere. Everything was decorated like the moon. This was the brewery that I was most looking forward to visiting. It's, um, it's in the European villages, which I'm going to talk more about in my video that I upload on Monday. But the European villages are in Palm Coast, Florida, and it is exactly what it sounds like. It looks like a European village. 
and there's tons of shopping, dining, bars, restaurants. It poured down rain when we were there, but actually Moonrise had a covered outdoor area where we could sit down and enjoy our drinks and we also got some chicken nachos. So we so appreciated the space and it was a really great place. You can see here that the ambiance here is incredible. It's all related to the moon, which I find really cool. If my video isn't perfect, it's because I felt a little bit awkward. People were definitely watching me videotape and I'm not super comfortable with that yet since I'm newer, but here is their outdoor space. It's covered, which is perfect because it poured down rain when we were there, but we just enjoyed our beer with the rain and it was actually very perfect. Green number nine. This is another favorite. This is Big Top, and we actually made a special trip to Big Top for their, what is it called? The Raspberry, I'm gonna look it up. So it's the Raspberry Glaze IPA. So they collaborated with Five O Donut Co., which is a local donut um, shop. We love Five O Donut Co. And if you do look up Five O Donut Co. and if you do go there, I always get the birthday donut, but we're talking about beer. Those two companies collaborated and made a donut beer and we had to go get it. So we made a special trip to try it and it was great. They also have my favorite beer, maybe of all time. It's called a hotter blonde and it's made with jalapenos and honey and um, they it's a special batch I believe at least when we tried it for the first time a couple of years ago it's not one that they served like year-round and they happened to still have some when we were there this weekend so we grabbed a whole bunch to go because it's my favorite so we went to Big Top they have the greatest beer I absolutely love Big Top I've never tried a beer from there that I don't like. Because this is one of our go-to places, I don't have a lot of footage, but I have these pictures. And I also forgot to mention that it is located in Sarasota. So on my TikTok, someone actually requested that I do kind of a rating system of the places I visit as far as um, just like their value and how much I like them. So. I don't know if that's, I didn't quite know how to do that with breweries because you don't really go to breweries to drink cheap beer. So I'm from Iowa, I love a Bush Light, or at least I used to, now I'm getting really used to the craft beer. Don't hate me Iowans. But in Iowa, you can go to a bar and get a beer for like $2 and um, that's just not why you go to a brewery. And I love my $2 beer bars. They have such a special place in my heart, but they are different. So I wasn't quite sure how to do that. And so instead I came up with four categories and I'm gonna rate the best in each category. So the categories are best ambiance, best food, best beer, and best service. So these are of course based on my experience they're gonna be really subjective, so you might have a different opinion and that's okay. In fact, if you do have a different opinion, I would love to hear it below, so comment and let me know. Best beer. This is a tie between House of Beer and Big Top, so you probably already know that. I already shared my favorites from each of those places. When I think about the breweries that I go to, those are both breweries that I really look forward to getting a regular beer that I'm familiar with, as well as trying a new one. And at both places, I'm never disappointed. Next is Best Food. So Best Food was the Moonrise Brewing Company, and we got chicken nachos from there, and they were not normal chicken nachos. They were so good. I do not know what they did to these things. They had like, um, I think it was feta cheese or maybe it was blue cheese. I can't remember. Forgive me. Um, definitely. Anyways, and then also had caramelized onions. They were incredible. They were just very unique to us and very different. So they win best food. Best ambiance. This one was also really difficult because we went to so many cool places. So um, a lot of places had really cool seating and that sort of thing. But I was most blown away with Crooked Can. 
I love the community that they're a part of. I loved our time sitting outside with our drinks. Um, I was just so excited to find that place that they win this month. But um, you might remember from my Florida Keys video that I love the Florida Keys, both of them, Florida Keys Brewing Company and Isla Mirada Brewing Company. I love the ambiance there because you really feel like you're on vacation. So I have to mention that as well. They will always win in my book. Last is best staff. So what does best staff mean? This is the staff that goes above and beyond them to make sure that you have a good experience. And so I really like to feel welcomed at breweries and um, Gulfport does that hands down. We've been there a few times and every time they make us feel so welcome. So Gulfport wins best staff. They are so helpful and so polite, so friendly. All the breweries that we have been to this month though had really good staff. Those were the breweries we visited this month. There were eight of them, nine if you count the one that we technically didn't go to. So eight breweries this month. I would love to hear in the comments below which one you would love to visit most or if you have been to all of them, which one your favorite is. And I would love to hear your favorite brewery, even if it's not in Florida, because I love adding breweries to our list. Please don't forget to subscribe and give me a like below. I hope you come back for our next video on Tuesday.